Yo, uh, I'm trying to hit 10k subs. Also, I got a Twitch. Got a schedule too. Yeah. If I asked you what's the biggest problem with generators, what would you say? An answer I might hear is that they're boring. Another might be that they take too long to complete or they might not take long enough. There's no right or wrong answer, but if I had to throw my hat in the ring, I'd say the problem is that generators are pretty much the sole objective for survivors. The only other things that you could consider side objectives are chests and totems, at least as far as objects on the map, right? Chests admittedly are a pretty good side objective. Totems, on the other hand, are kinda bad. And doing both takes up an extremely small percentage of your games. So when you're not being chased, saving survivors, or healing, the only thing you can do for the overwhelming majority of the game is holding left click on a generator. And that makes the previous problems I stated all the more annoying. But there is a solution. With my massively small brain, I have created a three-step plan to fix the objectives for survivors, while making the game more enjoyable for both sides. Step number one. When the trial begins, the entity blocks all generators for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds expires, the game proceeds as normal. When two generators have been completed, the remaining generators are blocked for 20 seconds. When four generators have been completed, the remaining generators are blocked for 10 seconds. This change is great at the beginning of the game for slower killers and killers that need time to set up. It also gives killers a small buffer at the end of the game to try to recover from what would otherwise be a loss. Now you might be saying, well what are survivors supposed to do when they can't work on generators? I'm getting to that. Step number two. We add more side objectives for survivors. And before anybody recommends it, adding the need for gasoline or machine parts to work on generators is a terrible idea. You would be adding another step the survivors would actively have to do so they could do the same boring generators that they've been doing for up to five years. You're basically making survivors work harder to do the same thing for the same reward, and it's not even interesting. The side objectives we add should be completely optional, but give the survivors various bonuses depending on the amount of time required to complete. Here's an example. Two rifts identical to the ones spawned by the archive challenges appear for each survivor on every map. Upon channeling these rifts, a skill check appears. If you missed the skill check, it alerts the killer to your location and the rift respawns somewhere else. If you hit the skill check, you get a permanent 1% move speed bust and the rift disappears. This would mean that if you find and activate both of your rifts, you would move at 102% move speed for the rest of the game. While this wouldn't be worth running around the entire map searching for, if you saw it, it would be worth picking up. Here's an idea that's a little bit crazier. There are three fuse boxes that spawn on every map. Upon interacting with these fuse boxes, survivors need to redirect the power by rearranging different shapes or something. I, I, I don't know, just some random thing that isn't holding left click. The action should take approximately 30 seconds depending on how quickly you were able to do it. And if you're interrupted during this interaction, you would have to start over. But when all three of these fuse boxes have been powered, a locker opens up on the map. When survivors interact with the locker, they gain a cloak or a piece of body armor that lets them take an extra health state of damage. Each survivor can only have one the entire game and there are downsides to this armor. For example, the armor does not protect against one-shot downs of any kind. So things like chainsaws, perks, or add-ons that give you one-shot downs will be able to break the armor as if it wasn't there. The survivors become more visible while wearing the armor. They could have some type of shining effect that shows they're protected by an aura or something. And when the armor is broken by a basic attack, the killer still has a cooldown animation, but the survivors do not gain a speed boost. These things combined with the amount of time it would take to unlock the armor in my opinion, keeps this from being too overpowered. There are so many reasons why side objectives like this would be good for the game. 
For example, if the killer is camping the last three generators and refusing to leave them, you can go get the body armor. You can make sure everyone gets their 2% speed boost. You could open up extra window vaults around the map. You could activate a couple traps that might blind the killer, blah blah blah, etc, etc. You basically gain the ability to become strong enough to try to challenge the killer who's camping those three generators. Not only that, it encourages survivors to do more than just hold left click on generators. And every second the survivors spend doing something besides generators is a good thing for the killers. The best part about these ideas is that they can be added to the game one at a time. You could start out by adding the speed boost, rift idea, and if it's not overpowered, you could then try adding in maybe the body armor idea. If something ends up being too unbalanced, you can then take that out or rework it entirely. And while they're adding all these things, the gameplay is constantly being enhanced for the survivors because there is more stuff to do. The final step would be reducing generator times by 10 seconds, meaning the generators will only take 70 seconds to complete. Now I know you guys are going to freak out about this, but remember that generators will be blocked for a maximum of 60 seconds every game. Plus you would gain more time by survivors doing the new side objectives. Survivors would also have to spend less time every game doing said generators, so it's an overall win-win. These three changes are all we need in my opinion to refresh the Dead by Daylight gameplay loop and make a more enjoyable experience for everyone involved. Please, pretty please devs, pretty please, I am begging you add these things, please, 